Hi, I'm Zerfall, and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 4. We're going to be talking to Sam and seeing if we can learn more about the skeletal findings, because I knew he wanted to tell us about that. Sam, do you have DNA results back on the bone found in Griffith Park? I haven't received the results from SID, but from my years of experience, I have to say that the bone is definitely human. Given the measurements of both the bone and the body found at the park, they're a match. Hmm. Has autopsy occurred on John Doe 7216M? Yes, John, it was first this morning. The gastrointestinal tract was ruptured as I suspected, and also as I suspected, there was no asphyxiation. The nylons wrapped around the neck were in no way connected to the cause of death. It looks like poisoning. Fluids were taken and sent out. Same thing again. Oh, a lot less questions than normal. That's Has good. Has identification taken place on the John Doe? No. We've sent the prints out for a national search. There must be someone somewhere missing a father, brother, or husband. Hmm. Is there any preliminary report on the fluids? No, John, they only went out this morning. However, I am not hopeful for a match. You know, John, there are thousands of poisonous substances out there. Many have yet to be identified and cataloged by the scientific community. It's like mm -hmm. hunting for a needle in a haystack. All I gotta do is get the ants to help you out if anyone's played Police Quest, uh... Or Space Quest. Oh, King's Quest. Five. Let's find out if they know anything on the Jane Doe. Sam, has the autopsy been performed on Jane Doe 1202L? The body is being prepped as we speak. I'll be getting started soon. Sam, has anyone identified or claimed Jane Doe 1202L? No, John. I have sent a copy of the fingerprints out for a national search. So far, no response. Do you think that he would have told you if he had anything like that? Looks like that's all we've got to ask him about. So let's head back to the um, headquarters. No jokes today? We'll have to ask for one. Hello, Russell. Hey, saw Sherry on the news last night. She's really a nice girl, Detective. I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. You know what you get when you cross a peach and an avocado? What? I don't. A rooty tooty fruity guacamole. Oh, we've heard that one before. <laughs> Let's get out of here. See ya, detective. See ya. I'm really sorry about the newswoman, Detective Carrie. Oh boy, as a little aside here, I just found out that uh, the robot teams are starting to buy laser swords for some of their players. That's not good. Sure. Next time, just keep quiet. Don't talk to those people. They'll twist your words around, make your life miserable. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Detective Carey. Everything understood? Remember? You told me to keep quiet. Ugh. I didn't mean... <laughs> Sherry. Quiet! Sherry. No, uh, that's all we're gonna get out of her now. Unless we do this. Detective Carrie, you're a flirt. Alright, let's move along. Hit our map up and head back to Parker Center. It's around here somewhere. And we are going to need to get our ID out. Um, where is it? There we go. Now we can get by. You attach your Parker. And we're going to head back down to the basement and find out if Chester's found out anything yet, because we really don't have anything to report upstairs. You press the button to call the elevator. Do do do. 
Let's see, she's in the basement. You select the basement as your destination. Why do I even tell you guys anything about what I'm doing? The narrative is going to tell you all about it anyway. They really have the uh, elevator sim down pat, though. You don't just instantly show up on another floor. If you want to get closer to Chester, then do so. Oh, I did try to touch her there, so maybe uh, Hello, Detective. he's How implying something else. Detective Carey, I view your action as sexual harassment and find your behavior objectionable. Please stop touching me. Aw, I thought we were getting on pretty well at the bar. Hello, Chester. Let's see if she can tell us anything about anything. Were you able to find anything out about the glue you sampled? Yes, Detective. It is an industrial strength glue which... Now we already know this. Chester, I wanted a DNA run on the bone I turned into nobles. What do you have back? Nothing yet, Carrie. And not to criticize, but you really should have turned that into property. You're uh -oh. right, Chester. However, I also need to find myself a killer. Snap, Chester. Chester, what do you have on John Doe 7216M? Body fluids have been sent over, but thus far, nothing on toxicology. How about Jane Doe 1202L? What do you have, Chester? We haven't received the body fluids from the morgue yet. We're limited on what we can do here, Detective. Unfortunately, we haven't heard back from Quantico on the other samples either. Mm. We're at a dead end. I think I'm going to ask her things out of order here because I think it's more fun. Chester, how about Jane Doe 1201K? Anything come back on her? Actually, how that made sense. Fingerprints? Well, she does have fingerprints. They just don't match anything we have out there for missing people. Hmm. The vehicle the victims were found in, Chester, what did you find? Their body fluids, their hair, their fingerprints, and red fibers. Other than that, the car was very clean. Too clean. Nothing in the glove box, under the seats, anywhere. No, somebody stole all the stuff. No more questions. All right, let's uh, move along. We should See you actually later, go to the. Carey. Bye. We should go to the impound lot. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. And uh, check with that other car that they found. Actually, we probably should have done that first. This was a. Uh, not the best idea. Oh well. Bit of waste of time, but you select the lobby as your destination. That'll work out okay. Once we ride this elevator. Good times. So, if we recall properly, we have to show our badge before we talk to this guy so that he lets us through. And then our friend out back will also let us through. There it is. <laughs> well, tell him McGarrett said, book him, Dano. <laughs> He'll know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Let's head back there. Find out if his name is G Dano, which we obviously know it's not. Hey, you whippersnapper! Can I help you? Uh, Dano? McGarrett told me to tell you to book him, Dano. <laughs> he, he said, ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, come right in there. <laughs> I see. Do I have to show him my badge, too? It's unnecessary to show him your badge. You already checked in with the front office. Perfect. Let's see if he can tell us a little bit about this stuff. SID has been out, right? Were they able to lift any prints? Was there anything left behind? Fibers? Hairs? Why wouldn't have Chester hey, told you that? you dead burn whippersnapper! You're making me sound like an eavesdropper! Is that what you think, huh? Is it? Is it? Is it? Huh? Huh? 
Kind of. No, no, not at all. I thought uh, that a man in your position would be more than likely to know what the situation was with each car in the lot. Well, you're right about that, you dead burn greenhorn. Darn shooting. I'll tell you about SID, I will. They were here for hours. Hours! I'm not fooling you now. Mm -mm. And you know something? They didn't find a single print. Zippo. Nada. Hmm. That there car there is just as clean and shiny as the day it rolled off the old showroom floor. Yes, it is. See, we could have got all our information on him instead of talking to Chester. Has the car's owner been identified and notified that their car is here and is involved in a criminal investigation? No sure, Bob. There wasn't one speck of ID in that car. Uh, no registration, no telltale signs of nobody. Except maybe a ghost owning that car. Now, we're kind of hoping you're going to do a little of that sniffing around, you know, in Angelus here. <laughs> what can you tell me about what was in the glove box and trunk when the vehicle came in? Well, nothing. Absolutely nada. You're unaware of what the contents were? No, he's telling you what it was in there. Dumb as a local weed, I said nothing. There was nothing in either compartment. Clean as a whistle. Shiny as a new shoe. Nothing. Not a rien. Zero. Oh. <laughs> he's not impressed with us. What can you tell us about no more questions? All right, let's look at this. It's a beige uh, 1990 Ford Tempo. Hmm. Let's uh, give it a look-see here. Are you going to zoom in on this game? No? Looking at the license plate, you discover... Oh, I should probably write this down. A 2BSY669. All right. I wonder if that's supposed to say anything. Too busy or something? County E 2BSY669. All right. Oh, can we take that down on our notepad? I bet you we can. Where is that at? You note the license plate number of the vehicle. Oh, that didn't give us any points. All right. You adjust your tie and to examine the car interior, you open the door. Oh, is that how we got in here? Man, I had no clue. There are no telltale signs of use or ownership, let alone evidence. There are no telltale. There are no. There are no tell. Check out these sweet seatbelts that automatically come down and lock you in. No way you're not wearing your top part of your seatbelt, at least. There are no tell. There are no. There are. All right, I'm guessing there's no telltale signs of uh, ownership or evidence. All right, let's move along. Well, once again, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Hey, that's a big ten for you, bet you good buddy. Here at Hollenbeck Toe, we aim to please. <laughs> sure do. And we're going to hit our map up and head back to Parker Center. The last thing we're going to do in this video is go to the computer and find out what this uh, E2 Busy Y66 or 669. No why, we already have the why. Who do you think? Oh. Who do you Who do you think you are? Um find out what this license plate's all about. Of course, they put this stuff way down at the bottom. You attach but make us put it on every time. You know what? It says jail visitors stay to the left, but we've never had to go to the jail. It's kinda of disappointing. We at least got to make some arrests in the Press old the police quest to games. Call the elevator. Even ones that weren't uh, involved in the story at all, you know, like stuff happened and you arrested them. There was like extra calls on the side, drunk drivers and whatnot. Nothing in this game. You Head up to our the office. Third floor as your destination. All right, which way do we go here? I don't think it matters. Nope. For th that th whole hallway just loops around to an elevator on the other side. And let's use this computer. Our ID number is uh, 618. 
eight, no, six, one, two. And our password is gunner. Okay. All right, DMV, license plate. E2 busy, whoops, can't, can't use the number pad, I keep reading that. E2 busy 669. What are we gonna get? Other than searchings. There we go, we've got this person's uh, registration. Central District Health Center, Los Angeles County. Oh, oh well. Point is we found it. It'll probably show up as a location on our map. And in the near future, we are going to be going to check that place out. I'm Zerfall, thanks for watching. And next time on Let's Play Police Quest, uh, we're gonna be heading to wherever that was and finding out a lot more about this car. Heck, maybe it has something to do with the killings. One might think it would.